Hello friends. 796 days of war between Russia and Ukraine. Today I am making my video without the background of videos taken from the war zones through various channels. In southern war zone on Kherson front, Ukrainians entered Nestriga Island in Dnieper River Delta. and captured it this is the new development however as far as antonovsky bridge is concerned their bridge head continues and so is in krinky bridge head where though they hold only 10% of the village earlier only few days back they were holding 50% of it nonetheless they have compensated with this new entry which is west of hola pristan coming to zaporizhia front on rabatino no changes where russian sold 30% and fight is continuing in the center or for the center and also towards south east of it and towards verbo northwest of it As far as Zimivki salient is concerned, positional battle continues towards Staromayorsky and Ukrozhen. No changes. Coming to east on Marinka front, north of Marinka, Krasnohorivka fight continues, where Russians are holding approximately twenty percent. In the southern flank, Masi Nostroytel, they have entered little deeper. holding 70% but however in last 24 hours no changes constant nivka russians have advanced towards the southern side while towards parasko vivka no changes poveda where ukrainians hold only 5% no changes georgievka that is west of marinka russians now have entered inside and hold 20% how were no significant changes in last a day or so coming to avdivka front now burdichi is almost fallen though confirmation is still awaited though uh, ukrainians channel or their supporting channels claim that there are some portions still there however information spurring in comes and confirms that ukrainians have withdrawn from there because of excessive russian offensive operations okay retino similar situations ukrainians if at all holding they are only holding ponds in eastern part of it otherwise the village too has fallen novo kali novo no changes russians offensive operations inside umansky and neta lovo no changes the fight continues novo pokrovsky fight continues on the outer skirts no changes russian offensive operations towards kaliv kalivka kalinovka kalinovka no changes coming to bakhmut chasiv yar direction klishivka that is in southern flank no changes Chasiv Yar side Krasnoye. Once again, it has come under dispute whether Russians hold it fully or not. Fight is continuing. Kalinovo and Bogdanovka no fight. No heavy fight. I mean, offensive operation situation is somehow stabilized at this moment. Coming to north of Soledar, Sivesk region, no changes towards Vimka. Verkhne ka Minsky and Bohdunov ka direction in northern war zone. A day before, I have said that Russians have captured Kislivka. However, this seems to be disputed again, as Ukrainian army continues to be fighting for the western Kislivka, and fight is also going on towards outskirts of Kotya. Rivka, Kotya Rivka, and Russians have been advancing from here towards 
Tabafka towards Pishane. You are hearing this after a long time. There are some changes in the central part of northern Ukrainian war zone. Ukrainians have been carrying out counter-offensive towards east of Yampolovka and they have regained some of their lost positions. While Russians' offensive operations continues towards Makyuka in the eastern outskirts, as far as Kupiansk is concerned, no changes. Interdiction missions, Ukrainians launched missiles, the latest ones with long range, probably wasting the long range, but their aim was to destroy Russian air defense in Crimea region towards Tarkhankut. It seems they did hit and caused some damage, but no casualties. As far as Russian air interdiction missions are concerned, they are continuing trying to destroy Ukrainians. <clears throat> Thermal power plants and infrastructure related to their military as well as civilian targets. And they have hit various regions again and again like Nepropetrovsk, Lviv, Ivano Frankusk and other reasons. Overall situation is pretty volatile though there does not seem to be much changes in southern war zone but however in north again things have started moving and the spokesperson of Ukrainian army has said that they cannot take easily as far as Kharkov is concerned. Russian seems to be preparing however this preparation is since long and Ukrainian deployment must be tired by now. As far as Eastern Ukraine is concerned, Russians have massive reserves as well as long-range, short-range weapon systems and have full initiative and have forced Ukrainians to withdraw on many fronts, especially on Odivka front. They do not want the same thing to happen what happened in Ukraine where they trying to run away and withdraw in haphazard way, losing massive number of their troops as well as arms and nominations. As far as Palestine, Israel, Middle East is concerned, situation is by less similar. The attacks by the IDF with artillery as well as UAVs and other uh, means continuing on almost entire Gaza front, they are accumulating mass number of armored vehicles and troops in southern Gaza on Rafah border and continuing exchanging fires with the Hezbollah. As far as West Bank is concerned, their raids on Palestinian land is continuing. In India, the situation is not going to improve as far as election is concerned. It, the filthiest level is still to reach as I understand. But let us see what is the outcome because as far as election is concerned in the so-called the biggest democratic country in the world is neither fair nor free and open uses of election machineries, so-called independent institutions and democratic pillars are totally tilted towards the ruling party whose dictatorship or rather fascism because section of the population is with them in name of religiosity, national chauvinism, casteism and other things. Well, that's all for the day, friends. Thank you.